what to do if you are sick in pregnancy and need to take some medicines. Maybe you were on some medication earlier due to some chronic medical condition like diabetes, hypertension and epilepsy and have found out that you are pregnant now. So remember all medicines taken during pregnancy can go to the baby and may not be safe at times. So hello everyone, I'm Dr. Anjali Kumar. I once again bring greetings to you from Maitri. Maitri is a space where we talk anything and everything about women's health. So in this video, I have compiled a list of few medicines which are considered unsafe or maybe dangerous to use in pregnancy. This video is for general recommendation and does not replace a physician's recommendation. In case of emergency, reach out to your doctor or report to emergency room. Remember, never self-medicate, never buy over the counter or on any unauthorized person's recommendation during pregnancy. Number one, anti-acne or retinoid medications. So have you ever been prescribed isotretinoin tablets or a cream for acne? Or you have just bought an anti-acne cream over the counter asking the chemist or on your friend's recommendation or you have just bought online an anti-aging day and night cream or a serum containing retinols. Well, an innocent acne cream or face serum could turn out to be dangerous for your unborn baby. Isotretinoin belongs to a class of medications known as retinoids. These are lab-made forms of vitamin A, which are generally used to treat acne. Taking isotretinoin while pregnant can cause a baby's brain, nerves or heart to develop abnormally. It also raises the risk of miscarriage and premature birth. The FDA classifies isotretinoin as pregnancy category X medicine. This means that clinical studies have shown that it can cause harm to the fetus and there is no possible benefit which outweighs the risks of taking it. It is important to note that whatever you put on your face, regardless of this being just the topical, gets absorbed into your skin and can affect the baby. So let your dermatologist know in case you are planning a baby. Even high amounts of vitamin A in supplements and food can also be dangerous. So speak to your doctor about even the multivitamins to take during pregnancy. Number two, common painkillers like ibuprofen or other NSAIDs. So what are NSAIDs? These are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. In 2020, the FDA warned against taking NSAIDs starting around 20 weeks of pregnancy. Use of NSAID is associated with increased risk of life-threatening kidney problems in developing babies. It can also cause an issue with the fetus heart in case taken in late pregnancy. Like you know people go to the market and may just buy a combiflam or a naprosin or a volany or maybe a volany gel. Yes, even the local application of volany gel for pregnancy backache is not a good idea. So what are the safer options? Tablet paracetamol like crocine, dolo, calpol, tylenol. Number three, antibiotics. So a class of antibiotics called fluoroquinolones. For example, ciprofloxacine, levofloxacine. These are the class of antibiotics which are used to treat many infections and it is very common to see people self-prescribing drugs or just using their old prescriptions multiple times. I have seen this many times with my patients. Now, these antibiotics are categorized as pregnancy category C based on the birth defects seen in animal studies. So, not a great idea. So, it is better to avoid in pregnancy. Number four, another class of antibiotics which are known as tetracycline group of antibiotics. Now, this is a class of antibiotic which is once again used to treat a variety of bacterial infections. This is considered a pregnancy category D medication. It's recommended that pregnant people avoid all kind of tetracycline antibiotics, include doxycycline, minocycline. 
Now, these tetracycline antibiotics can cause pregnant women uh, to have liver damage. Now, they can affect the, uh, the baby's bone growth and can cause permanently yellow colored teeth in the babies. Once again, never self-medicate. Nasal decongestants. So are you suffering from bad cold, stuffy nose, watery eyes, viral or allergic rhinitis? And you are tempted to use the tablet your sister used when she was suffering from a stuffy nose. Wait, read the ingredients. Nasal decongestants. So what are these medicines which can clear your nose? Like pseudoephedrine, phenylephrine are generally avoided during pregnancy. They are classified as pregnancy category C. Some studies have linked these medicines to higher risk of birth defects also. So the ACOG advises not to take this during first trimester. You know, all of us have heard about Otterwin nasal drops. So one study found a higher risk of several problems in unborn babies during the first or second trimester with the use of these medicines. So safer options, saline nasal drops, anti-allergic drugs like levocetrazine and in some cases steroid nasal sprays. You can add tablet paracetamol for fever and body ache and most of the viral infections take just about 5-7 days to clear on their own. Saline irrigation, Jal Nethi, is a popular and safe method for clearing up a stuffy nose if you are pregnant and congested. Number 6. Certain blood pressure medications. So keeping your blood pressure within a healthy range is important when you are pregnant. But some blood pressure medications are unsafe to take during pregnancy. Now these uh, include uh, ACE inhibitors and ARBs. So this is a little technical. Uh, they are called as pregnancy category D medications during second and third trimester. So when taken during pregnancy, they can harm the baby's kidney. They can also affect the fluid around the baby's uh, baby in the uh, uterus. So always remember that your doctor knows the best. And in case you have been on these medications because of pre-existent high blood pressure, visit your physician and gynecologist soon to get your prescription changed. Number seven, warfarin. Now some patients because of some previous heart or a vascular condition or a previous heart surgery, maybe on blood thinner. So warfarin is a blood thinner which is used to prevent, which is used to prevent and treat blood clots. It's classified as pregnancy category D medicine. Pregnancy as it is increases the risk of clot formations or deep vein thrombosis. This is called DVT. We've spoken about this many times at METRI. So in case your doctor decides to put you on blood thinner, the safer options are aspirin and low molecular weight heparin. Number eight, anti-diabetics. The only oral anti-diabetic drug considered safe in pregnancy are metformin and of course the insulin injections are safe to take in pregnancy. So in case because of some pre-existent diabetes you were on other oral anti-diabetic drugs, visit a doctor soon to get your prescription changed. It is also very important to keep the blood sugars in control especially in the first trimester as the uncontrolled sugars themselves can cause birth anomalies and never forget the importance of a healthy diet, moderate physical activity as approved by your doctor. 9. Certain anti-anxiety medicines. These are commonly called as benzos, benzodiazepines. Now this, uh, these are the type of medications which are used short term to treat anxiety disorders. And uh, they're also used together with other treatments for anxiety like therapy and antidepressants. So for example, Alprax, Diazepam, which is Valium and Clonazepam. These are very commonly used and abused anti-anxiety drugs and commonly bought over the counter. Now most benzodiazepines are considered pregnancy category D or X medications. They have been used to developmental issues which can affect the baby's brain, esophagus and heart. They have also been linked to miscarriage, lower birth weight and premature births. 
Taking benzodiazepines also can lead to withdrawal symptoms in pregnancy. So, a big no. 10. Lithium. Lithium is a prescription medication which treats bipolar disorder. It's classified as pregnancy category D medication because it can cause birth defects in heart. Lithium intake may be especially dangerous to take during the first trimester when the baby's heart is developing. So plan your pregnancy only after approval from your psychiatrist and gynecologist if you have been on lithium. So the rule for taking medicines in pregnancy. Optimize your health before planning the pregnancy. So preconception planning is very important. Trust and always follow your doctor only. Bad idea to take anything over the counter in pregnancy. Take an over the counter medication only if you truly need it. Educate yourself. The CDC and FDA offer a lot of resources to help you understand what medications are safe while pregnant. So, today, if you found this video informative, save this, like this. Share it with someone who is pregnant and if you haven't already, please subscribe to Maitri. If you are new to Maitri, do go through the entire playlist covering topics like contraception, fertility, vaginal health, breast health, PCOS and many more. And I'm sure you would find a topic beneficial to your health. I'll see you soon.